Hello everyone, so in this video let us talk about a medium level problem from lead code. The problem name is camel case matching. So the problem statement goes like this that you're given an array of string queries and a string pattern. Now return a boolean array answer where answer of i is true or false if the query i matches the pattern or else if it is like false. So you just have to match out the query with the pattern. Now for matching out the query with the pattern there are certain rules. So the, the query word query of i matches pattern if you can insert lowercase English letters pattern so that like inside the pattern so that it is equal to the query. So in pattern you can insert only lowercase English letters at any position that you want and then if it is equal to query then the answer is true else answer is false. So let us take a few examples from both of these examples. So as you can see that it is FB that is the pattern and it has different queries. So let's do the queries analysis one by one. So let's say that it is foobar and F and B are the only capital letters. You can insert OO and AR at the middle and the end respectively. And then you can get from the pattern the uh, query. That is first is fine. But for the second one, what you can observe is that I can insert. So it is F O O B A R and then test. So for the capital T of the test, I can insert that because I cannot insert capital letters. So answer sec for second is false. Third, I can insert because it has F and B only as the capital letters. Else are small. Similar for fourth one, the fifth one has F two times and a B and the second F is also a capital L so I cannot insert like any capital letters so answer is false. So the first thing which I observed like first observation which comes to mind is that if any way I find out a capital letter which is not inside my pattern uh, flow the answer is already false. Let us move on to the next example. It has foo bar and what you can observe is that in the pattern itself it can has smaller characters also. Okay, small case character also. So as you can say, if it has F O B A, then in the query you can match. You have to first match the capital F, then small O, then the another O you can leave because you can insert. Then the capital A, like capital B match, and the small A matches out. Okay, uh, let us also check out the fourth one. So it has frame buffer, though it has F and B, which are capital, but because F, there should be also a character that is O, and from F first to B, there is no O there, so answer is false. So I hope you are getting what the complete intuition of the problem is. What you can directly uh, do in this problem is that you, whatever, let's say you have a string, let's take the same string, let's say uh, frame buffer. What you can actually do is let's say if you have a string that is FB, you can just take two pointers, one that is iterating over the whole, let's say query string, and one that is iterating over the pattern. Okay, whenever they completely matches out, then it is fine. Let's say because F and F matches out. Then what you can do? You can just move this, like both of them to next. This is, this is next, this is next. Now the next character that I'm looking for is B. If it is a small character, then it is fine because I can insert that. Let's move on to the next character. A, then it is also fine because I can insert that small, fine, small, fine, then it is B. So if they completely matches out, then it is fine. Then I can just, no problem. I can just move out this character as well. Like I can just move out this to the next character. There's no next character, which means that it is completely present inside this. Now you just have to also ensure that there should not be any more capital character. Let's say if there is one more capital letter T, that is false, okay? So you just have to check out the capital characters if they're present. And in the end, you just have to check that there should be no capital characters apart from the capital characters or the string present here. And also, uh, like if there are some other characters also, let's say it has R and let's say U. So whenever you're matching out, let's say from here, F and F matches out, then R is there. So R is R matches out. If let's say it has A, so A doesn't matches out. So which means that you're looking for A in the next half of the string. So he matches out with R, doesn't matches out. Okay, but you can insert R, so it is fine. You can insert A. So it has A, that is fine. But let's say if it is B, you cannot match out from here, you cannot match out from here, you cannot match out from here. So you cannot match out from anywhere, but you can find out a B character, that is false. So I hope you're getting the point. If you find out A, because it should be in the same order. If you're finding out some other character that is not present, the answer is false only. Okay, that's all the logic for this particular problem. Let's move on to the code part. So we have this uh, overall starting function that take the queries as the input and the pattern itself. And then there's a answer vector that stores out Boolean, whether it is possible to form the particular query from the pattern itself. So you will call this check function over this query and the pattern that will just return true or false and then return the answer vector. So what this function takes, it takes I 
a capital count that how many capital characters are there apart from present inside the pattern and now it is iterating over the complete so this is iterating over the complete like pattern you can say which is the so not sorry pattern the complete query okay complete string now what you just have to do is that you just have to check out that whether the ith character of the pattern and the ith character from the query or the string if they matches out if they matches out then just move the one on the pattern that is iterating over the pattern so it is i okay now if they completely match it out then it is fine if they doesn't match out you just have to ensure that the character is not matching out it should not be any capital character because it is not matching out i cannot insert a capital character so if if it's not matching out else if not matching out it should be if it is a capital character that is inside this range then i just increment my capital range so in the end if the complete pattern is present inside the query then i should have gone out of bound which i have told you because it has gone one by one and it it should be going out of bound so if my i should gone out of bound which means that it its size like its value equal to pattern size which means that it has iterated over the complete pattern it has become equal to pattern size then it is out of bound which is completely present inside the query and the number of capital characters that we have enc encountered throughout this whole query should be zero apart from the pattern if if i find out any any other capital characters that is not in present present inside the like which have like which is present inside the let's say string and not inside the pattern then it is false only so that's all the logic you can pause this video and try to see the code try to implement it on your own it will find you more insights so if you have more solution you can mention in the comment box of this particular problem thank you for watching video till the end i will see you in the next one like keep coding and bye